This involves a cover-up of the highest order by national space agencies, including NASA. The asteroid is 100% certain to strike Earth, according to one space expert who says this is a matter of life and death. You probably have millions of casualties. Is a planet-killing asteroid a possibility? NASA has determined that the threat is real. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And many men died of the waters. Chief technology experts. The Bohemian uh, Grove and other retreats. The text of this book is printed on 100% recycled paper. The Bohemian Grove books by G. William Demhoff, Fat Cats and Democrats, 1972. The Higher Circles, 1970. Who Rucks America, 1967. C. Wright Mills and the Power Elite. Codita with Hoyt B. Ballard, 1968. The Bohemian Grove and Other Retreats A Study in Ruling Class Cohesiveness by G. William Demhoff F. Harper Torch Books Harper and Row. Published in New York, pages San Francisco, London, Boy, Bill, and George Sanders, Columbia, 06-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-09-
he tells the high priest in no uncertain terms that priestly fires are not going to do him in. I spit upon your fire he roars, and with that there is a great explosion and all the torches are immediately extinguished. The only light remaining comes from the small flame in the lamp of fellowship. Things are clearly at an impasse. Care may win out after all. There is only one thing to do, turn to the great owl, the totem animal of Bohemia, chosen as the group's symbol primarily for its mortal wisdom, and only secondarily for its discreet silence and its nightly prowling. The high priest falls to his knees and lifts his arms toward the shrine. O thou, great symbol of all mortal wisdom he cries, Bohev 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 thee, grant us thy counsel. The inspirational mugins again as again only nas the owls, and an aura of light glows about the owl's head. The owl is going to rise to the occasion. Rise to rise 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 to the occasion. After a pause, the sagacious bird finally speaks. No. He tells the assembled faithful, can drive out care if the fire comes from the mundane world, where it is fed by the hates of men. There is only one fire that can overcome the great enemy care, and that, of course, is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Hail, fellowship he begins, and that, don't care, gone. With that, care is on his way out. The light dies from the tree. The high priest leaps to his feet and bounds up the steps, snatches a burnt out torch from one of the bearers, and relights it from the flame of the lamp of fellowship. Just as quickly he ignites the funeral pyre and triumphantly hurls the torch into the blaze. The orchestral music in the background intensifies as the flames leap higher and higher. The chorus sings loudly about dull care, arch enemy of beauty, calling on the winds to make merry with his dust. Hail, fellowship they sing, echoing the owl. Begone, dull care. Midsummer sets us free. The wailing voice of care gives its last gasps. The music gets even louder, and fireworks light the sky and fill the grove with inspirations of great explosions. The band, appropriately enough, strikes up there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Care has been banished, but only with a cast of 250 elders, priests, torchbearers, shore patrols, fire tenders, production managers, and woodland voices. As this climax approaches, some 50 minutes after the march began, after all, it is a night for rejoicing. The men begin to shout, to sing to hug each other, and dance around. They have been freed by their priests and their owl for some good old-fashioned hell-raising. They couldn't be happier if they were hack in college and their fraternity had won an intramural football championship. Now the ceremony is over. The revelers, initiated into the carefree attitude of the Bohemian Grove, Break up into small groups Stop as they return to the camps that crowd next to, to each other in the central area of the grove. The of the it grove. will be a night of storytelling and drinking for the men of Bohemia as they sit about their campfires or wander from camp to camp, renewing old friendships and making new ones. They will be far away from their responsibilities as the decision makers and opinion molders of corporate America. Jinx High and Jinx Low The Cremation of Care is the most spectacular event of the midsummer retreat that members and guests of San Francisco's Bohemian Club have taken every year since 1878. However, there are several other entertainments in store. And nature rights. Of all these delights, the most elaborate are the two jigs. Entertainment of any real magnitude is called a jinx. This nomenclature extends from the earliest days of the club, when its members were searching for presidents and traditions in the 
the case of Jesus, Jesus, they had found a Scottish word which denotes, generally speaking, a frolic, although it also was used in the past to refer to a drinking bout which involved a matching of wits to see who paid for the drinks. Bohemian club historiographers, however, claim the word was gleaned from a more respectable source, Guy Mannering, a novel by Sir Walter Scott, there the hijinks are a more elevated occasion, with drinking only. Dot two in any event, the early jinx at the Grove slowly developed into more and more elaborate entertainments. By 1902 the high jinx had become what it is today, a grandiose, operetta-like extravaganza that is written and produced by club members for its one-time only presentation in the Grove. The high jinx, presented on the Friday night of the last weekend, is considered the most important formal event of the encampment. Most of the plays written for the hijinks have a mythical or fantasy theme, although a significant minority have a historical setting. Any moral messages center on inevitable human frailty, not social injustice. There is no spoofing of the powers that be at a hijinks. It is strictly a highbrow occasion. A two. Robert H. Fletcher, The Annals of the Bohemian Club, San Francisco, Hicks Judd Company. <laughs> in April of 2012, and if you recall, and people can go get the YouTubes and watch this, I'm on Sid Roth's show, I'm on Jim Baker's show, I'm on Prophecy Watchers, and I'm everything you have the studio, and I'm saying, I believe that Tipple Source, Guy Mannering, a novel by Sir Walter Scott. The hijinks are a more elevated occasion, with drinking only a subsidiary indulgence. Two in any event, the early jinx at the Grove slowly developed into more and more elaborate entertainments. By 1902 the high jinx had become what it is today, a grandiose, operetta-like extravaganza that is written and produced by club members for its one-time only presentation in the Grove. The high jinx, presented on the Friday night of the last weekend, is considered the most important formal event of the encampment. Most of the plays written for the hijinks have a mythical or fantasy theme, although a significant minority have a history to hear ye burn me in this grove, lifting your puny shouts of triumph to the stars. But when again you turn your feet toward the marketplace, am I not waiting for you, as of old? Fools. 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 To dream ye conquer care. The high priest is taken aback by this impressive outburst, but not completely humbled. He replies that it is not all a dream, that he and his friends know they will have to face care when you turn your feet toward the marketplace. Am I not waiting for you, as of old? Fools. Fools. To dream ye conquer care. All mortal wisdom he cries. Owl of Bohemia, we do beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. We do beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. Who beseech thee, beseech thee, grant. Owl of Bohemia, we do beseech thee, eyes. Owl of, Owl of Bohemia, we do beseech thee. Them he cries. Owl of Bohemia, we do beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. Sir, <laughs> <laughs>
Out of Bohemia, we do beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. The inspirational music of the fire finale now begins, and an aura of light glows about the owl's head. The owl is going to rise to the occasion. After a pause, the sagacious bird finally speaks. No fire, he tells the assembled faithful, can drive out care if that fire comes from the mundane world, where it is fed by the owl of Bohemia, we do beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. The inspirational music of the fire finale now begins, and an aura of light glows about the owl's head. The owl is going to rise to the occasion. After a pause, the sagacious bird finally speaks. No fire, he tells the assembled faithful. The assembled faithful, assembled faithful, can drive out care if that fire comes from the mundane world. Assembled faithful, can drive out care. After a pause, the sagacious bird finally speaks. We uh, saw this with the uh, the asteroid called Bennu, mm -hmm. and then the probe to go visit it was called Osiris Rex, which was a European space agency probe, but they really twisted it. So really weird, the world. Right. Right. But they really twisted around the app in order to make it fit the Osiris Rex and Osiris King, even so the ancients were seeing some of the same kind of thing in terms of their description. And even why, we'll, we'll have to talk about this like on the next program. Of course, is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Hail, fellowship, he concludes, and thou, dull care, begone. The sagacious bird finally speaks. No fire, he tells the assembled faithful, can drive out care if that fire comes from the mundane world, where it is fed by the hates of men. There is only one fire that can overcome the great enemy care, and that, of course, is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Hail, fellowship he concludes, and thou, dull care, begone. With that, care is on his way out. The light dies from the dead tree. The high priest leaps to his feet and bounds up the steps, snatches a burnt-out torch from one of the bearers, and relights it from the flame of the lamp of fellowship. Just as quickly he ignites the funeral pyre and triumphantly hurls the torch into the blaze. The orchestral music in the background intensifies as the flames leap higher and higher. The chorus sings loudly about dull care, arch enemy of beauty, calling on the wind to make merry with his dust. <laughs> Special at the man of the milk, 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 the mil
Luke Spendorf from a Colorado city amenable to a dose of 3 R boosterism, and then heads for the open country, using trails. Picked with the aid of the Forest Service. Once on the trail, the concern with the promotion of tourism declines, and the roundup riders settle down to socializing and enjoying in proper bohemian and ranchero fashion. The heart of the ride is 20 miles or more a day in the saddle says Rickardson. The marvelous scenic area which only a privileged few will enjoy each year. The mountain flowers. The wild game. The bird life 10 at night there is entertainment by I3RS 10 piece band. We are versatile. Country western. Fixerland. Symphony. We play M. All says entertainment director Pete Smythe. A former Denver woman, Denver former Denver radio and television cover the exact starting point. However, the ride usually begins with a nine. Tally book, night, in 71. Round up riders of the Rockies, P98. 75 Bohemians and Rancheros name residents occupation on of Rexal Drug Company and a major Republican financial contributor. The University of California, and a major Democratic contributor. Preston Hotchkeys of Los Angeles is chairman of Bikesby Ranch Company, a large land developer, and a heavy contributor to Republican and anti-conservationist causes. Porter Sisnon of San Francisco is a leading investor in ranch lands and oil. John Melvini is the senior partner in Los Angeles' most powerful law firm, Melvini and Myers. Lawrence and Melvin Lane are the publishers of Sunset Magazine. A complete rundown on the 40 interlocking overlappers can be found on from Los Angeles, San Francisco, Honolulu, Spokane, and Chicago with join Richard in wanting to be members of both. Round up riders of the Rockies it was made. and Southern California recent years, but in the pause directory, compared to a two out of five and cliques, it is my belief, council tetetities with government six gates link last feet one of the several, a creaky and 15 different wines. The committee also makes sure that 3,500 bottles of wine are on 45 hand for purchase by members and guests at the club. Five hundred bottles of Five hundred bottles of wine are on forty-five. Bottles of wine are on forty-five hand for purchase by members and guests at the Grove Encampment. Grove Encampment. The head of the committee for years has been Minardo Amarine. Years has been Minardo Amarine. Four years has been my Nada Amarine. The head of the committee for years has been my Nada Amarine. The head of the committee for years has been my Nada Amarine. One of the world's foremost in foreign September 1971. Now we Seventy one, in nine thousand six hundred and fifteen, under the title Bilderberg, the Cold War International. Ninety four, 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 ninety four
Class leaders look over young experts for Hickel, Walt tells, with a 61 to 62 13, faithful, can drive out care if that fire comes from the mundane world, where it is fed by the hates of men. There is only one fire that can overcome the great enemy care, and that, of course, is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. In the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Of fellowship on the altar of the of fellowship on the altar of is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Hail, fellowship on the altar of the is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of the is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Hail, fellowship he concludes is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Fellowship, he concludes, is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Hail, fellowship, he concludes, is the flame which burns in the lamp of Fellowship on the altar of Bohemia. Hail, fellowship, he concludes, is the flame which burns in the lamp of fellowship on the altar of Bohemia.